Welcome back. My name is Ryan Berry. I'm the business development manager here at Aeromotive Services. Every single day, accidents do occur. Sometimes they don't even involve collisions with another vehicle. Today, we're going to be speaking about non-collision wire harness repair. Rodent damage is one of the most common forms of damage we receive here at Aeromova Services. The reason that the rodents are so attracted to wiring is that the wire is extruded through a series of dyes that are lubricated by peanut oil or vegetable oil. Fire damage can be devastating to a vehicle, but especially to an RV. Fire can spread not only from the ignition point, but the entirety of the vehicle. Fire damage usually causes an immense amount of damage to the wire harness assembly itself, in which most of the wires need to be replaced. During the winter months, rock salt is used to keep the roads from being slick, but it also can wedge itself right up into your wire harness assembly. If it's not cleaned out thoroughly, it can actually lead to full-on corrosion to the wiring itself. Another way corrosion occurs is through the simple splicing of two different metals, such as aluminum and copper, during repair. Now that we've gone over these types of damages, it's now time to evaluate them. And how, in order to evaluate them, what we need to do is to take out the entire assembly. In the assembly, there are several types of wires, including copper, aluminum, and even fiber optic. If you want to learn more about these, make sure that you stay tuned for Aeromotive's webinars that are occurring through May, June, and July of 2017. Thank you, and have a safe day.